Great exciting news as negotiations for your second stimulus package resume this morning, but Nancy comes back with statements that leave a lot of people skittish. Bifurcation is occurring across the industry for hazard pay left and right. Airlines react, saying that they're dealing with the inability to get stimulus relief Accordingly, they're modifying their own hazard pay policies as well. Lowe's, on the other hand, is spending fortunes on its essential workers announced minutes ago. Finally, new calls to action to get Mitt Romney into the negotiations with that stimulus bill he wrote for hazard pay months ago. A great bill and a great focus. This is Afternoon's LA Light. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Breaking news and shocking news and great news across the corner and coming to you right in by the minute. Go to the front of the channel, subscribe. Subscribe because there's so many twists and turns in a given day. And when we talk about hazard pay, oh boy, it is still on the table. It is still on the table, but the table's moving is the problem and the chairs are too. Also like this video. In this video, I'll be covering a lot of details about what's going on with hazard pay, but this is again, a continuation of check, which was more minutes ago. Check had all the twists and turns that have happened on your stimulus check and stimulus package since even this morning. First, your stimulus package relief is becoming a bifurcation situation. It's really becoming a bifurcation situation where we're looking at certain businesses in different ways based upon the size of the business and the size of the person getting the relief. Second, airlines are responding to the situation about the stimulus package and the inability to get a deal done. And they're doing exactly what I told you they're doing. You got to find out for that in a second. Next, Lowe's announces major payments, major payments to essential workers. These are frontline workers, and this is hazard pay. They call it bonus pay, but it's hazard pay. Great news across the board. Next, Romney, Mitt Romney, front and center, call to action the Purple Power, pushing Mitt Romney to really take the lead on hazard pay, as both the Republicans and Democrats have thrown it to the side. It's time and now for people to realize that Mitt Romney is the focus to get the hazard pay to the finish line. All right, let me get to the breaking news. The breaking news is that hazard pay is really getting tarred left and right, but there is, is a focus to get it paid right away. What has happened is that Nancy Pelosi has taken out hazard pay from her latest stimulus package deal, and that the Republicans have not put hazard pay in it, and the problem solvers didn't have hazard pay in it as well, because when they went to go to speak to Nancy Pelosi about what she would put in the bill, she wouldn't answer the door. Ultimately, no one's working for you for hazard pay except you and me. And there's a big concern, and that is bifurcation. What is bifurcation? Bifurcation is talking about how stimulus relief is looked at based upon the economics of Wall Street. And that companies like Lowe's, Amazon, Walmart, uh, and Target are doing incredible, incredible earnings, more earnings than they ever had in their entire existence. And they're able to pay hazard pay and bonus pay, and they are paying hazard pay and bonus pay. But the other places that are central workers, like restaurants, like a restaurant like Ruby Tuesdays, or like a restaurant like California Pizza Kitchen, are now dealing with the trouble and are dealing with financial liquidity. More about them in a second. So as we sit here today, the problem is that there's that President Trump is looking at Wall Street as an indicator of where stimulus should be when he should really be looking at you. Airlines. Airlines reacted to the news today. The news started with the president urging for uh, standalone bills for the airlines. Now, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. All I'm going to say about the standalone bills for the airlines is that Nancy and Steve cannot get their story straight, even by the hour, let alone the president. There have been standalone bills for, for the airlines in the stimulus negotiations, and I'm not talking about Collins and Wicker's standalone bill. There have been proposals that both Steve and Nancy and Donald have endorsed for standalone bill, and then 24 hours later, they say they don't want to do 
do it. I mean, I would be really pissed if I was an airline company because these people can't even recall what they're saying the day before. Air American's airline CEO, Doug Parker, this morning says it's consistent with what's been going on in this process for quite some time. There's huge bipartisan support for the airlines, but it's a frustrating process. We can't continue to wait, and if so, we will discontinue service to a lot of markets. That's... Um, that was Parker. But when then pressed a little bit further, Parker said, guess what? We're cutting routes. I told you that two weeks ago. I told you that if Nancy Pelosi cannot get a deal done that the, by the October 1st deadline, one, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people will lose their jobs. Two, Americans will lack productivity because airlines are going to cut routes across the country and you won't be able to fly from point A to point B like you were be able to four. Three, this will cause further erosion across the United States economy. You can't get to a place, you can't do work. If you can't get to a place, you can't go to a hotel there. Tra tra travel and leisure will, will fall. Productivity will fall. And that's exactly what's going to happen. There will absolutely be discontinuation of service to small communities, and there will be much less service to larger com communities, said Parker of American Airlines this morning. This is what we saw coming. Uh, on Thursday, he said, if you gave us the funds to keep people employed, that wasn't enough demand in the airlines to keep them employed. It allowed us to serve more markets than we would have otherwise we can't continue to wait. If forced to, of course, we will discontinue services to a lot of markets and we will be much slower to rebound and help the economy rebound for this pandemic. Basically, they will survive. Airlines have more liquidity than prior, uh, than prior uh, national emergencies. But this time what they're doing is being proactive, firing people and cutting routes. This is what Americans don't need. We're at this point, unfortunately, that people are beginning to very slowly begin to return to work. Companies are beginning to take talk about having their people travel again, but unfortunately that's not going to work. We simply won't have the ability to staff back because we're cutting routes. This is bigger uh, than just keeping airlines afloat. This is about critical infrastructure for our country to keep this country out of this pandemic. Now, as I talked about bifurcation, we're talking about stimulus packages and stimulus checks. What you need to understand for bifurcation is that Trump does not see that certain things are not the same for everyone. It's really hard to grasp why the president doesn't understand that. You understand the president was elected to to make America great, you know, the middle America, the, the, the Rust Belt, the hardworking American. Well, suddenly they're being lost in this discussion this last two months by the president, who's focusing on more of what Walmart's doing than what you are doing. And what's happened now is that you're entitled to stimulus check, you're not getting it. You're entitled to unemployment assistance, you're not getting it. And that suddenly we're talking more, especially among conservative Republicans, about PPP to keep the businesses afloat, and EIDL loans to keep the business afloat, and liability insurance to keep the business afloat. Okay, well, how about keeping the employees afloat? How about keeping the single moms afloat? And what's happening is that some businesses are going under, and some industries are going up. And Lowe's is among them. Lowe's announced today $100 million in bonuses given to hourly employees that are working in the month of October. I detailed it to you several weeks ago that Lowe's had a grant program, but I also told you that Lowe's was hiring, so I hope you went and worked there. Throughout the spring, summer, and now into the fall, our frontline associates have shown remarkable resilience and dedication to our communities in the most times we need to face together, said Lowe's CEO Marvin Ellison in a statement today. We are pleased to provide this additional bonus as a thank you to our associates for their perseverance and continued commitment to our customers. You got to understand where this is coming from. Lowe's was not a financially strong company less than two years ago. Because this pandemic, Lowe's has done very well. They've done very well under the CEO and now they're rebounding and now they've able to make a lot of money on this pandemic and they can afford to pay hazard pay. But that's not the same situation across the board. How about this? California Pizza Kitchen announced it filed for bankruptcy in July. Guess what? Yeah, California Pizza Kitchen, CPK. No one even wants to buy it in bankruptcy. Today, also announced Ruby Tuesdays is joining is going to bankruptcy. Restaurants are not getting that type of relief because people didn't go to the restaurants during the pandemic like they went to Lowe's and Home Depot. And so what's happening is bifurcation. 
businesses like Ruby Tuesdays, like CPK, and there's a lot of publicly traded restaurants are failing while other businesses are going up. So CP Ruby Tuesdays announced today we're they're going into bankruptcy. Meanwhile, California Pizza Kitchen, which went into bankruptcy in July, has now canceled its planned planned auction since no bidders came forward, and it's turning over uh, ownership to its lenders. Says CNBC minutes ago. As we sit here today, what's important to understand when we're talking about hazard pay? What's important to understand is Romney is really, you know, uh, he's the man that has to become the man right now. I don't know where he is and why he's so silent, but Purple Power, do your thing. Tag Mitt Romney if you want that hazard pay. Mitt Romney is a Republican. He introduced on the Senate a standalone bill for hazard pay. Yeah, a standalone bill. There's a lot of standalone bills for a lot of other things. Ms. Harris has a standalone bill, and Bernie Sanders has a standalone bill for stimulus checks in the Senate, Democrat bill. Mitt Romney has this standalone bill for hazard pay in the Senate, Republican bill. And you would think that if a Republican saw the importance of hazard pay, as did other moderate Republicans like Marco Rubio, that they would get some traction and get it going and get it voted on when the Senate resumes on October 19th. Push Mitt Romney. Push the problem solvers, proper power, because ultimately the Mitt Romney bill is the one you want for hazard pay. It accounts for a lot of money. It's money that, one, the employer would have to get for you. Two, the employer would be paid to pay, get the money for you. And three, it would be money that would come into your bank account irrespective of whether or not you were fired for that place of work, the work place closed, the place place went bankrupt. Um, whether any of those scenarios occurred, you're going to get the money. This is incredibly great news. This is thousands and thousands of dollars if you work from January up to the present in the pandemic. This is not, you know, a few hundred dollars. And ultimately, my purpose for this channel is to get you money, however that path may be. Let me answer some of your 775 questions from yesterday. Missy, the market, the stock market is not doing well enough, and people like me are sitting here with the floors falling through. Evelina, none of these people seem to help America just help themselves. Barbara, with Nancy's desire to give up so much of our tax money to only a few specific states due to losses for purely managed governments, uh, is California's governor Nancy's nephew? Jay Marie, oh my God, LA, it's almost Friday. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. My blood pressure strikes, blood sugar elevated. Be careful, be careful, Jay Marie. Grimes, Jeremy, crushing the virus takes time, Nancy Pelosi. Stimulus packages shouldn't take time. I love that. Renita, executive orders. At this point, both parties suck. Chrissy, love the show. I'll be tweeting to all my kids. I tweet Nancy, Steve, Mark. Uh, Mitch and a few others. I appreciate that. Tim Hogman. It sounds like all these politicians need need uh, some relief. I took out this, the word in the sentence. Uh, Victor Nunez. Yep, she's talking smack. The marbles are all loose in the view. But sorry, but it's true. <laughs> Gallup. This just proves they're wiping up the mom and pop businesses and catering to the big corporations. Amen. That's what Jim Cramer said. All those mom and pops are going to be gone. All those moms and pops are going to be gone, and what you're going to see is McDonald's making a fortune. They already have announced massive surge in earnings. I detail that on morning to L.A. Marina, this boys and backers are shopping at Walmart and Target. None of the rest of us have any money. Alice and Marie, these politicians are a joke. Joanne, um, the president needs to get his head out of his behind and do what he's supposed to do. Michael, where are you supposed to propose reoccurring $2,000 checks to win a ton of votes? Although I'm still voting for this, I'm still voting, although I'm still voting, these clowns are out where I can. Kathleen, keep the text messages to Don and Don Jr. Eileen, Nancy Pelosi only cares about herself. Uh, Rebecca, my husband, said 600 tweets in the last 24 hours to POTUS and others. Wow, great job, Rebecca White. Lacey, he needs to sign it and send the stimulus package out right away. He does. Jobless claims came out this morning, and as I said to you when we were talking about jobless claims a few days ago, I said, hey, I think today's number is going to be bad. I told you that yesterday. I said, I think it's going to spike because of the airlines layoff. Well, it spiked, but it did not spike enough because, as, as expected, as much as expected, because the airlines number may float into next week's number. Uh, coming up later on today, I will be going over where the COVID-19 cases are, and that is a very big troubling issue for purposes of hazard pay. COVID is out of control again. And if you don't see the importance of hazard pay as an elected official today, you better see it very soon because hazard pay is not getting good. Um, 
Wall Street has sort of mixed reviews of the entire situation. And ultimately, their views may not be skewed correctly. They may be off-center. But what's important for you is to stay focused and stay positive and stay motivated and stay smiling and keep up the purple power. I announced the delegates earlier today. I really appreciate all the efforts to start the delegates right now. Go to Friends Channel, subscribe. Subscribe because it's the best damn channel out there. I have all your wishes in my hands, in my heart, and in my soul, and we're getting this through together. If you are a subscriber and you want to be a delegate, remember the way you do is you go on Twitter and make it very clear that you wish to be a delegate. It's a grassroots effort. I'm not appointing people. You can be it's self-appointed. You can be a delegate and then choose not to be a delegate. It's up to you. All you do is add to your hashtags the letter, two hashtags. First, you, excuse me. All you do is add to your tweets first the hashtag P, then the letters of your state like TX, PTX, and then do another hashtag, Ally Light. As again, go to the Friends Channel, subscribe. We're here together. We're going to get through this together, and we'll find the end and the finish line once this is soon back to normality. And also like this video. Coming up next is FPUC and then Pelosi versus Mnuchin. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay at Ally for more.